a monumental breakthrough in lunar exploration was announced. For the first time, negative ions were detected on the Moon's surface. This discovery, made by the European Space Agency ISA using the negative ions at the lunar surface NILS instrument aboard China's Chang'e spacecraft, marks a significant milestone in space science. But how do they detect it? What does it mean for future lunar missions and our understanding of the Moon's environment? In this video, we will dive into these details and explore the challenges faced by the scientists. The detection of negative ions on the Moon is a groundbreaking achievement in space science. The NILS successfully detected these ions during its operation on the lunar surface. This was the first time negative ions were measured on the Moon, adding a new dimension to our understanding of lunar plasma. Negative ions are particles with an extra electron, giving them a negative charge. They are typically short-lived and difficult to detect, especially on the Moon, which lacks a magnetic field and has a very tenuous atmosphere known as the exosphere. The detection of these ions indicates that the lunar surface interacts with the solar wind in complex ways, producing a variety of charged particles. This finding opens new avenues for studying the Moon's surface environment and its interactions with space weather. The NILS instrument collected data intermittently, operating in short bursts due to the heating constraints of the instrument. Over three hours of data collection, far exceeding the mission's success criteria, were achieved. This success was not just a technical milestone, but also a scientific one, as it marked the first time ESA had produced scientific data on the lunar surface. Understanding these interactions is crucial for future lunar missions, both robotic and human. By knowing more about the charged particles on the Moon's surface, scientists can better prepare for the challenges posed by the lunar environment. For instance, the information gleaned from this discovery can help in designing better protective measures for astronauts and equipment ensuring the safety and success of future missions. It also adds to our knowledge of how the Moon's surface responds to solar wind. The Moon's lack of a protective magnetic field means it is constantly bombarded by charged particles from the Sun. When these particles strike the lunar surface, they can knock off secondary particles, some of which are negatively charged. This interaction is a dynamic process, and understanding it can provide insights into similar processes on other airless bodies in the solar system, such as asteroids and the moons of other planets. Detecting negative ions on the lunar surface posed significant technical and scientific challenges. Unlike positive ions which have been measured from orbit, negative ions cannot travel far from the surface. The NILS instrument had to operate in close proximity to the lunar surface to detect these ions. The mission faced several technical hurdles, including thermal constraints and the need for intermittent operation due to instrument heating. The Moon's lack of a magnetic field means that it is constantly bombarded by the solar wind, a stream of charged particles from the Sun. When these particles hit the lunar surface, they can knock off secondary particles, some of which are negatively charged. Detecting these particles required precise instrumentation and careful planning. The NILS team overcame these challenges by designing an instrument capable of withstanding extreme conditions and by strategically timing the data collection periods to maximize the quality and quantity of data. One of the primary challenges was the thermal environment on the Moon. The NILS instrument needed to operate at full power to collect data, but doing so for extended periods caused it to heat up. To manage this, the NILS team employed a strategy of alternating between short bursts of full power operation and long cooling off periods. This approach allowed the instrument to stay within its thermal design limits and continue functioning despite the harsh conditions. The data collection process was another significant challenge. The NILS instrument collected over three hours of data, far exceeding the mission's initial expectations. This success was due to meticulous planning and execution by the NILS team, who carefully analyzed the landing position, the angle of the sun, and the temperatures to determine the best times for data collection. By operating in short bursts and taking advantage of the lunar day-night cycle, the team maximized the instrument's data collection capabilities. Furthermore, 
The technical design of the NILS instrument was crucial to its success. Built by the Swedish Institute of Space Physics, the instrument was specifically designed to detect negative ions in the challenging lunar environment. It featured advanced sensors and data processing capabilities, allowing it to identify and measure the short-lived negative ions produced by interactions with the solar wind. By this discovery and studying the interactions between the lunar surface and the solar wind, scientists can develop better models to predict space weather effects and design more effective protective measures for astronauts and equipment. One of the key implications of this discovery is the impact on the design of future lunar habitats and rovers. The knowledge gained from the detection of negative ions will inform the development of technologies that can withstand the harsh conditions on the moon. For instance, Understanding how the lunar surface interacts with the solar wind can help engineers design better shielding for habitats and rovers, protecting them from the charged particles and other environmental hazards. Additionally, this research paves the way for exploring other airless bodies, such as asteroids and moons of other planets. Understanding how these surfaces interact with the solar wind will help scientists develop strategies for future exploration and resource utilization. For example, Studying the interactions between the solar wind and the surface of asteroids can provide insights into the processes that govern their surface chemistry and composition. This knowledge can be used to develop more effective exploration techniques and technologies for missions to these bodies. Moreover, the discovery of negative ions on the moon has implications for our understanding of space weather and its effects on the lunar environment. Space weather, driven by the solar wind and other solar activities, can have significant impacts on the surfaces of airless bodies. By studying the interactions between the solar wind and the lunar surface, scientists can develop better models to predict space weather effects and mitigate their impacts on future missions. This knowledge is essential for ensuring the safety and success of future lunar and space missions. The detection of negative ions also opens new avenues for scientific research. The data collected by the NILS instrument will be used to conduct high-level research on the lunar environment and its interactions with the solar wind. In this video, we have learned about the incredible discovery of the negative ions on the moon. We hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new and exciting. If you did, please give us a like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. And don't forget to leave a comment below and tell us what you think about this amazing exoplanet and what you would like to know more about. We would love to hear from you. Thank you for watching and see you next time.